The Saints Row reboot has been laughed at since they released the very first trailer where they showed off a new generation of saints that looked like hipsters that drink soy lattes, and every trailer has been ratioed. Every post has comments from furious fans, and now full reviews from gaming outlets are releasing, and they are tearing this game apart, saying that it is bad, the gameplay is generic, it's a empty world and overall it is not a good experience. I have a bunch of things to show off, but before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and to the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted. And of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon for just a dollar a month or support the channel via YouTube memberships. All of the links are in the description, and of course, I do really appreciate all of the support. Now, when I'm recording this video, the game actually launches tomorrow, but the early review scores from critics are out, and it is not looking good. Right now, there are a lot of of outlets saying that it is just a mediocre experience, it's not great, it is definitely receiving critical reviews. Now, we are going to talk about how the internet is basically laughing at Volition in this awful game, but I wanted to head on over to Metacritic to show you all the critic reviews. Now, there are some positive ones here. Uh, Gaming Nexus, Gamers RD, Hobby Consoles, all giving it very solid reviews. But then you get into the 75s and the under 70s, and there are many more under 70s than above. I mean, it drops all the way down to a 40 out of 100. So let's look at some of the more mixed, maybe some 65s, some 70s. Let's look at Push Square. Saints Row is a largely successful reboot, even if it sometimes feels dangerously outdated in terms of open world design. It's its story and characters can be hit and miss, but it's carried by fun gameplay and good humor. Despite new faces, Saints Row is definitely still Saints Row, just bigger and probably better. That doesn't sound too great of a review to me. Let's go to a 65. Uh, there's a lot to like and a lot to laugh at in Saints Row as you raise hell around San Eliso with your unique boss. Collecting clothes and cars as you scale up your network of businesses is compelling as you accumulate wealth and solidify your spot at the top, but outside of the super fun set-piece main missions, it's easy to bounce off the more repetitive elements of the open world. Saints Row 2022 is a time capsule of a game and era many have moved past. Instead of building the legacy of Saints Row, it feels like a tired retread of a game we already have. And now we're getting into the very critical reviews, all 40s here. Torn between two identities, Saints Row is a misjudged attempt at reinventing the series, instead ushering in a lack of mission variety and a tired narrative that fails to light up what could have been a genuine competitor in the absence of a new Grand Theft Auto. Those even looking for mindless fun will struggle to find anything here, even if criminal ventures and co-op play offer glimpses at what it could have been back to the drawing board. The problem with the new Saints Row is not just that the characters are boring or that the combat is by the numbers and benumbed by unempowering perks, but that the brief snatches of fun, the wingsuit deployed from a high rise, the handbrake turned through a curtain of tire smoke, are nothing new and are done better in other games. A tragically outdated open world adventure that almost has more in common with Goat Simulator than Grand Theft Auto despite some moderately entertaining mechanics. It is getting raked across the coals right now, and I think that this is pretty hilarious because I have been critical of this game for months at this point because it didn't look all that fun. It looked like a game we've already seen, but with more politically correct elements. We know that a giant focus for these developers were making it nice and modern. They were trying to make this game appeal to modern audiences, and by doing that, they killed any hype that previous Saints Row players had, and even game reviewers hate it, and we all thought they'd love it because of the changes made for modern audiences.
And of course, now that these early critic reviews are releasing, people are roasting these developers for their very poor decisions and also apparently the poor game that they put out. Somebody said that's what happens when your reboot goes from gangsters to they slash them's hard pass. People are also pointing out apparently there are a lot of bugs, a lot of glitches. Um, as Skill Up said, outdated in every aspect from its open world design to its core gameplay, riddled with game breaking bugs, absent any sort of coherent plot, and starring an insufferable cast of characters, this Saints Row reboot is a disaster. This is why I did not pre order it or purchase it or even plan to play it because it did not look impressive. And unfortunately, it's worse than we thought it would be. This is a pretty sad yet accurate meme. How does it feel to have lived long enough to see all of your favorite franchises go down in flames? It feels great. Holy shit, what on earth happened? When you turn a primarily male-centric fanbase franchise into something that is doing its best to fight against what that franchise was, you end up with shit like this, and I have to agree. I used to love Saints Row. I had absolutely no problems with the content in Saints Row. I loved it because it was edgy. There was a lot of dark humor, and that's what made the franchise extremely successful and popular, and they have decided to try to fight against what the franchise was, and now we're ending up with this pile of garbage. In conclusion, dead franchise. That is a pretty good meme, I have to admit. Uh, people saying, always suck seeing something people spent years of their lives on get received poorly. Maybe they should have created a better product and actually listened to consumers. This is the problem, is that there are people trying to defend this product, and I have nothing personal against these developers, but just because someone created something doesn't mean that we can't criticize it. Yes, they have spent years working on it. A lot of them are probably proud of it, but it's just not a good product, and it deserves to be criticized. Now, I think besides the technical problems, this game is going to get raked across the coals because of the direction they went in with the characters. They replaced the old saints with these new soy latte drinking characters that seems like they could be working at Starbucks. They are hipsters, they are lame, and these are not the characters that we want to play as. I did a video recently talking about how these characters are arguing in the game between each other about student debt and how they're going to buy by a waffle maker. That is not the Saints Row title that people want, and it is going to get ripped apart for the characters in this politically correct direction they've decided to go in. Of course, I don't usually trust reviewers, but they are openly admitting this game is buggy and broken, and it's just a mediocre title in general, and I can't wait to see fans rip into this title. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.